I absolutely love the fact that they're still making new games for older system, including these two for the Sega Genesis. Got Thunderpaw, looks pretty cool on the front, and the very cool, very metal Bone Marrow. I'm looking very much so forward to checking both of these out in this video. And how are you feeling? You got John Riggs here. I love checking out newer games for older systems. These were both sent to me from PSCD Games. I've got a link to them in the description below. So if either of these games or both of them look completely fantastic, you gotta have them in your own collection. Uh, there's a link to uh, where you can grab these for yourself, including some stickers on the front here. Behind the stickers, you have a full color manual. You see, not even Switch games give you a manual anymore. Now, you know, nothing too in depth, but at least it's something. We'll check out Thunderpaw first, and then we'll check out that Bone Marrow right afterwards. And it says Mega Drive, but they're designed from what I believe to fit in your Sega Genesis or your Mega Drive, whatever the case may be. Um, I am playing these on my analog Genesis system. And here's Thunderpaw. Uh, normal's fine. Oh, I or the A button uh, to select switch a difficulty. Uh, let's try easy, because I have no idea what this game's about yet. Looks pretty cool for the back of the box, maybe a little platformer. Ooh, that's not good. Oh no. Alright, alright, alright. So, ah, the old world map idea. Let's check it. Alright. So collect the bones. This is my firing. Oh, you have a little... Have a little uh, kickback on your gun there. It's kind of fun. I can't double jump. And then the C button. I think I read the instructions. Uh, changes your gun. Oh, let's... What? Oh, it only goes so far. There. Oh, my God. I just made him blow up. Leaving, uh... Leaving crystals everywhere. All right. I like the animation on this guy. Come on. I gotta time it better here. Oh, here, I'll just do that. <laughs> there we go. Fine, okay. Let's at least get past the first level here, see what we can do. I see my meter raising next to where it says three. Oh, okay, good, I can. Uh, pushing down will make you go back down through those things. Now, is that when I pick up crystals that thing inflates? I guess we'll find out soon. Yep. I wonder what happens when you get it all filled up. Ooh, let's... Let's not. Three. Three what? Do I have to kill all the enemies before I can move on? So one of those kind of games? Well. Oh, jeez. Don't want to do that. Now I gotta go all the way back through. I can't shoot up or down, it looks like. Nope. Get over here. Dude. There we go. Almost all the way filled up. I have a feeling the other enemy is at the very, very end over there. Let's see what I can find. <laughs> there he is. I never did get my meter filled up. It's alright though. I uh, got all the enemies. Nine out of nine. Will this thing open up for me now? Uh, looks like it. Through the door. Right? Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. Through. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if I could have done that without. I found one. Is there more? Ah, the old password system. I'll take it. Well, there's a little bonus for you if you want to go straight to uh, World 1-2, I guess, when you play this game. All right, I still have that green meter filled up. I'm curious to see what happens without... I could just look at the instructions, I suppose. All right, here it goes. That should do it. It's all the way filled up. Can I charge my shot? Doesn't seem like I can. I have no idea what it does. <laughs> I have to look at the instructions, I guess. And now let's see if I can just leave without defeating all the enemies. It may not let me. Especially if I don't know where the... Uh... Oh, and when I get hit, I lose both. I lose both. Hmm. 
Dude. Oh, there's a giant wall here. I see. Well, that would do it. Alright, one more enemy. I think I saw him over here. Just a pattern crawler there. No problem, no worries. And away we go. The wall is down, here we go. Stage clear. Very cool. Oh, I see, I bet there's one per level. And if you get them all, it's another thing you can unlock or something. All right, cool. Well, anyway, this is called a Thunderpaw. Very neat. Bone marrow, the same stickers. Come on now, how awesome are these stickers? Same with the manual and same with the game. No, two player on this one, that's cool. And would you be my player too? Would you please subscribe to this channel? I would appreciate it. Bone Marrow, very cool title screen here. And uh, let, we can look at the options for a second. That looks fine by me, and let's go to a new game. Uh, oh, do we get to choose? Wow, fantastic. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. Not sure who to choose. I guess I'll start with uh, this guy. I don't know if they have any any uh, special powers or anything like that, but we'll see. I can't, uh, can't go there yet, it's got this closed. Start in the yard. Okay. The Blood Moon. It's a puzzle game? Combine the same type of item. Is it like that one game? What's it called? 286. I think this game might be like that one game. Like that 2048. What's that game called? Oh, it's totally that. So when you match up two in a row, so the swords, I'm going to hit down. And I'm going to hit down again for the barrels. I'm going to hit down again for the sword. And then I can combine the barrels. I'm going to push them all over this way, push down to combine the barrels. It's night right now. Okay. Is that a bad thing? There's two shields next to each other. I slide them into the wall, they become something big. A bigger shield. Interesting. So the upgrade system... Huh. It's a new take on a classic this. It is day. Now you can pick up items. Oh, so I can pick up items. So now that is day. Oh, enemy appeared. Uh, enemy can only be attacked during the daytime. Okay, well, I just attacked him. I'm hitting down again, down again, down, down. I lost my sword. I'm going to keep hitting down until he's dead. Because uh, I have more health than he does. Okay, now he's dead. And now we have all these things to capitalize on. So now I can get the sword again. And get that sword. Get my shield back. Because more enemies are going to come up here soon. But now it's nighttime again. So now that it's nighttime, I can't pick up the enemies, but I can certainly combine them to get better um, better things along the way. This is going to be interesting. And the better you do, the more things combine to your uh, benefactor, the stronger you're going to become. That's an interesting take on this game that I'm very familiar with. And I'm, still might be I'm, I'm not hitting like I'm not hitting the A, B, or C buttons or anything like that. I'm just hitting up, down, left, and right. And when I do, everything shifts that direction. Um, and if they're two of the same next to each other, they'll combine to each other. Like the apples on top, I'm going to hit down. Now they're a pair, I'm going to hit down again. Now it's meat. If I combine the two meats, it turns into that, you know, the 16-point fish. So those two, be like the barrels become this, the shield. And now it's a daytime again. I have a, I have a um, there's my health. Yeah, you need that for sure. And I'm going to fight this uh, rat over here. Now it's easy enough. And then during the daytime, I can certainly grab all the items I need. Now, oh, see. Interesting. So then how do I get past this? If there's a password system, how do I get past the first level? If there is a first level. I'm going to keep doing this for a little while anyway. This is such an interesting take on 
this game. It reminds me a little bit like Puzzle Quest, where it's like it's it's a match three, but it adds a little RPG element to it, so it's not just another match three. All right now that and now that it's daytime again. Oh, there's my uh, I can defeat that guy really easily. And then during this scene, I can just grab all the items I can get. Before it turns dark again, and <laughs> now we're back to this combining these elements together. Fun. Interesting. I wonder what happens if you play as someone else. I'm going to do that right now. I don't know if uh, holding A, B, and C and hitting start will reset it, or just hitting start will reset it. <laughs> and let's see if I can play as one of the other enemies. Oh, I guess I'll have to back all the way out. Uh, I don't need to continue. Interesting that you can continue, though. But let's try a new game. And uh, I'll play as her. Kelda. Kelda? Interesting. So, uh, yep, can't confirm it can't go to the, where it's closed, but I can go here. And it's going to be the same thing, I bet. Just you play as a woman. Yep, combine them. Combine them. There you go. Yep, it is night now. That's so weird. It's such an interesting take on this game. I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm intrigued by this. I'm, I want to stream more of this later on, like on Twitch and stuff like that. Oh, okay. So the enemy's here, and I can attack him now. And then as he attacks me, I lose my stuff. So I got to go back and get my stuff back. Get my shield. Better shield. You know, just kind of move some stuff out of the way here. I'm sure there's a better way to play this game. And the A, B, and C buttons don't do anything for you. But yeah, this is this is Bone Marrow. And and very cool. I, I, I'm I'm a little surprised, actually, by this. Um, fun. Fun, 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 fun. Fun game. I like this one. And I've checked out more games from the same company. Make sure you check out that video as well. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again real soon.